Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Verderus Gearhulk, which is a green one. It is a card I've always liked, and it works extremely well with Winding Constrictor, and it's being seen play in Standard. So the combo would be uh, the Gearhulk, you, it's a 4-4 four, four, Trample for 5. It enters the battlefield, you can distribute 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters on any number of target creatures you control. So you can put one on the Gear Hulk, and you can put one on the Snake as well. So the Constrictor reads, if one or more counters would be placed on an artifact or creature you control, that many of those counters plus one are placed in that permanent instead. So it is essentially eight plus one plus one counters if you have four different creatures, assuming these two creatures are out, which typically they would be. You get a 6-6 six, six with Trample for 5, and then you get a 4-5 uh, wow, four, for 2. And if you have two, any other two creatures, they would all pump themselves up as well, uh, giving them plus 2, plus 2 permanently. So at the time I made the video, it was 9 days ago. On the 14th, I said this combo was very good. It's very easy to pull off. You're in the two colors that you want to be in. You have a two drop. A lot of times, one of the issues with combos is it doesn't give you really much defense. So you're kind of in trouble against an aggro deck. Because aggro will hit you, hit you, hit you. But you need a turn two drop to defend you. So having a free toughness is very, very good. And definitely, if even if you have Nissa voice of Zendikar, and then you drop a plus one, plus one token on whatever you have, uh, then everyone gets plus two, plus two, which makes the snake incredibly big at that point in the game and very difficult to kill. I think one of the main things about this snake is it is out of shock. Like you cannot shock it to death, which is, uh, it's got a very high toughness for a two drop. And once the gear hole comes down, it's just almost impossible to kill. It reminds me of that one elf, the uh, Sylvan Advocate. Once you turn on the six lands, Sylvan Ad Advocate is really difficult to get rid of. Anyway, and this card has been seen plain standard. Therefore, its price point is now much, much higher than it used to be. And during, again, this was nine days ago when you could have purchased the card. The card was at an all-time low on January 7th. On January 14th, I say this is a great combo, and now the card is $19. So around the 14th, I would say it looks like it went slightly up, probably $7, $8, uh, but definitely not over $10. Uh, it did not hit over $10 until recently. So you could have picked it up from the 7th all the way until today, um, and right before the spike happens. I like it. I mean, it's a very powerful card. At worst, it's a 5-5 five, five Trampler for 5. At best, you know, you have a snake, and everything gets plus 2, plus 2, including the snake, including the Gear Hulk, and for 5 mana, you get a 6-6 six, six Trampler and a giant snake, as well as two other creatures. Even if they were plant tokens, I feel like that would be very good. Uh, Nissa Activation would be very good on tokens. Overall, this is the deck, the black green tokens deck, uh, relatively cheap before the spike, and now it is more expensive. So what I've learned from this entire thing is go see the deck list before uh, a big event, and then look at the deck list, look at what might possibly be expensive, and pick up at least a place of those copies, because everything goes up after these events. Everything goes up after the Pro Tour or right before the Pro Tour. Eventually they will settle and go down, but you know it's very clear to me that this was a good deck and I love this combo because you it solves a problem with a lot of, con it doesn't win you the game, so it's not as strong as Sahili's combo, but it solves a lot of problems that I have with combos is against aggro, I need a two drop. Like I need a two drop because I'm not gonna let my opponent attack me for two turns possibly three turns before I really commit to anything on the board. And the snake is a perfect two drop. You cannot shock it. You can lightning harness it, but at that point it's a one for one trade and they're wasting the turn. The later you get with this deck and you can get to turn five or turn six when you play the Gear Hulk, 
the better it is for you and the worse it is for burn decks or uh, aggro decks because you just have better plays. They're, they are not going to have a better play than the Gearhulk than you on turn five. Anyway, bye guys.